Hey, what's going on, Tuck? Should we show them the toy box? <laughs> hey, guys. Solar panel kit from Harbor Freight. This is the 100 watt solar panel kit. Let me show you what I've got going on here. So right now I just have the solar panels mocked up out here just for demonstration purposes. I'm just trying it out to see how it works. But the kit comes with all four of these panels. Each panel is rated at 25 watts of output. So I've got them daisy chained right now. They give you all the included wiring that you need to connect the panels to the charge controller. So like I said, I'm just trying it out right now. I'm going to do something neat and tidy this up later. But I've got the main cable going up into an existing hole in my enclosed trailer where they already took the wiring for the trailer lights and brakes and everything. So I didn't have to drill any holes or anything there to get inside the trailer. And then once on the inside, I got to patch this up and put a nice little trim ring on there. Uh, but basically it comes over to the charge controller, which is also included in the kit. And uh, you can cycle through different modes here. Um, you've got the state that it will charge to and uh, your float level that you want to get to uh, for maintenance. You've got the minimum voltage that you can set on here. So there's lots of different settings and everything. Uh, but you can see right now it's charging, it's up to 13.8 volts already, and I've only had it hooked up for a short time. So, um, especially during the summer like this, I think these solar panels are going to be really great at keeping this battery charged. Uh, this is a deep cycle battery that I picked up over at Walmart. So, I've got about $160 in the solar panel kit, got about $80 in the battery, and then from there I've got um, this inverter that I already had, I'm going to eventually get a more powerful one, but uh, 400 watts should be plenty to run fans and lights in the trailer. So this should be able to do what I need to do when I'm out in the woods, primitively camping off the grid. I won't need any electric hookups to do what I need to do. Uh, I got to tidy all this up, make my wires look nice and neat. But uh, it's a pretty cool system because, like I said, you can set this up anywhere. It doesn't matter where you're at. You can set these solar panels outside, and then you've got instant electricity um, inside your trailer. So the idea here is that during the day, you know, if you're out riding your UTV, out on the trails riding, having a good time, you just leave this hooked up and let it charge, and it gives the battery a full charge. Then when you get back to camp at night, you unhook the charge controller, and connect up your inverter and then you're ready to go for you know sleeping in the trailer you can have a fan lights whatever going in here and keep it cool also have a really cheap queen size mattress that i picked up at the local furniture store uh, less than 200 bucks this will keep me from ever having to fool with air mattresses you know it seems like those air mattresses have a way of going flat in the middle of the night and it's just a real pain don't have to worry about that anymore. I also wired up this LED overhead light and this thing is really bright. It goes over here to a switch. Uh, but the reason I did this is because the light that comes uh, you know, pre-installed in the trailer only works if the truck is connected to the trailer and if the ignition is on. So basically you'd have to run the engine to use that light. And I didn't want to have to do that, so I installed this overhead LED light, which is really bright. I tested it out last night after dark, and it lights this trailer up really well. And it's running over there to the battery inverter also. So all in all, it's, uh, like I said, it should pretty much give me all I need for primitive camping. I'm not trying to do anything fancy here. I just want to make it to where I can sleep in here and stay cool and comfortable out of the weather. Don't have to worry about storms or rain in the middle of the night. Don't have to worry about animals and critters getting in the tent. Uh, so that's all I was looking for. Also put a mirror up over here. If the missus wants to fix her hair in the morning or if I need to put my contact lenses in or whatever. Little Pit Posse Motorsports uh, tool tray that I put in here. You can put different things in there obviously. Nice little tray, towel roller. So just the basics, just the basics. So. You know, again, the idea is you can haul a UTV to the campsite. And then once you get there, you drive it off and set up your camp in here. So it's kind of like a self-contained camper slash trailer. I would call it a tramper, but my cousin already trademarked that term. So anyhow, just wanted to show you what I've got going so far. 
Um, of course, this trailer I ordered with the windows inside, the roof vent. So eventually one day I might put you know, an air conditioning unit up on the roof. That way we could really stay cool and uh, that would work out great for summer camping. But for now, on a budget, I just thought this would be good enough. You know, I can get a big fan to put up front here and blow air through the trailer. That'll be fine. So obviously I'm not the first guy that's come up with ideas like that, but you know, I just wanted to make it something simple, something quick and easy to set up. I don't want to have to fool with a lot of different things when we get there to the campsite, but having some electricity inside uh, the trailer obviously will be really nice, you know. Now, you know, in the future, if it ends up uh, being that it doesn't cool us off enough at night, just using fans and we decide we want to do air conditioning, you know, then obviously I have the option of putting a rooftop on here or I thought I could get one of those portable air conditioning units and just cut a couple of holes, probably do it over on the side instead of the front to help prevent, you know, water coming in while you're going down the road in the rain or whatever. But anyhow, I just cut a couple of holes to uh, intake and exhaust and get one of those dual hose portable air conditioning units. And uh, that would do the trick pretty well. So, you know, all kinds of options. But the main thing is you just got to have some way to get electricity into the trailer first. So I figured this would be pretty nice. I'm going to end up maybe putting some cabinets or something up there. So when we, you know, go camping, we can just put all of our gear up there in front of the uh, UTV, which kind of rests like right in this area. Gives us plenty of space to put all of our gear and everything. So I think it'll work out okay. So now all we have to do is actually go camping, right? I want to go out to a campground and lay in my reclining fold-out chair like this. So we just have to decide where we're going to go. I love LBL. You guys know that Turkey Bay off-highway vehicle area down there in LBL is my favorite place in the world. But the Badlands Off-Road Park up in Attica, Indiana is also pretty awesome. And I think my son would really love that because he's got that little two-wheel drive, 250, you know. And he likes to rip and go fast. I like to do the slow, speed, trail, crawling kind of stuff through the woods. But my son really likes to get out there and just rip. So, you know, the Badlands Off-Road Park is somewhere that I think he would really enjoy. Maybe we need to just hit both of those parks this year. So if you haven't seen the trails on those... Hopefully pretty soon I'll show you what they look like. Really nice places, both of them. Both are about a four hour drive from where we live. So it's not something we can just take off and do every weekend. You know, it takes some planning, but definitely want to try and do that before summer's over. I want to try and hit one of those parks this summer and maybe hit another one this fall. Uh, right now it's starting to get kind of hot again, but you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. But anyhow, there's a look at the uh, trailer toy box project and uh, I guess that's all I'm gonna have for you for now. I hear my son ripping on the Honda. <laughs> all right guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. that look easy.